Do you remember? Look at the flick of that nip. A couple of days ago. No. I don't remember anything. You said we need another plague. Yeah, yeah. You remember how you said that just before a COVID outbreak? Yep. You hear about what happened in Colorado? Hopefully another plague. Yeah. A man contracted the plague, like the Black Death Plague. Yeah, that's not bad. Thanks, Corbin. You're welcome. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your sports on Patreon. Follow Twitter account and subscribe to the like button. We've had a cure for that for a long time, so that's fine. Uh, so that's fine. Also, back in the day, if we just had everybody using actual soap, uh, a lot of plagues probably would have been avoided. <laughs> yeah, and if we if we had because do you know how exterminators disgusting <laughs> the the the, what, the world was at what, what time of the, that was in. in what was it called? The, the, um, the Black Death? No, no, no. The Time of the Earth. Um, the Stone Age? Yeah, something like that. But what was that when the, bla the Black Plague came out? It was the... Um, um, why am I, I don't know what that period... It's the... Uh, well, the Renaissance Age, kind of... Post-Renaissance. Yeah, yeah. Just post-Renaissance. Um, anyways, where they're just throwing out their shit into the street and... Yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> well, that's... No wonder half the world died. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were disgusting. <laughs> so gross. I'm glad they're all dead. Wow. Just... All right, so today, what are we doing, Rick? I don't know. What are we doing? <laughs> We're not doing that other thing. No, no, Dad, not doing that. We either. can't do that. We got uh, a new interview uh, with Film Companion. Came out with Vicky. Awesome. Um, oh, with Vicky. Cool. It's mostly in English, they said. Um, there's a few little off cuts of uh, Hindi sentences, but uh, that's typically the case, isn't it? With most of the time, Anupama? the um, uh, there's they're in English, and the, a lot of people said this was a, a really nice interview. Great with Vicky, of course, it's great. Gonna be. And then her, and with her, she th we think she's a great interviewer. Um, yep. And uh, here we go. My conscience clear. Hey, shut up, Vicky. We weren't talking God. to you yet, Vicky. Shut up and kiss me like you did Tripti. I saw that comment and I just, I did this. Talk to me nicely. <laughs> Ritik sir has commented on my dance. She's like a Google queen. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. Did, did on the yeah, other yeah, dance, dance video? So many of who have um, experienced uh, cinema through Film Companion and through you. So... Thank you for everything, everything that you've done through Film Companion. Vicky, welcome back to Film Companion. Thank you. And I have to tell you, this is a slightly emotional interview for me because this is the last one I'm doing in the studio here for oh. Film Companion. And I'm thrilled at you. Film Companion is going well. I am so thrilled Why? that this last interview of it's yours, becoming Film something Companion, and I'm sitting here because... My first details, ever but... interview, and I've told you this also, that my first ever interview, not just as an actor, like first time ever I've given an interview for any reason, it was by you. So I am so thrilled that this is You could happening. have came on our channel. I have to tell you, but why I'm so thrilled. Mm. Because, of course, I think you're an amazing actor. Thank you. And I've said this to you before, that watching you soar has been such a highlight of the last... Nine years, you know, I love, I love how you succeeded because you're so good at what you do. You. But also, also, and I think this might be unprofessional for a film critic to say, but also, I have great affection for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I take huge pride in that. <laughs> As it worked, so now give me good see. reviews. And we met in Cannes, yeah. right, with yeah. Masan, 2015. Yes. Um, Dang. I've always felt, Vicky, Ki, you see who that was? A and that's never changed, despite the success and the fame and the stardom and all of it. And so I want to start by a little bit delving into that. Mm. Ki, because you said to me, the last time we talked was like, I think uh, about a year ago. Yes. Uh, and you said to me, Niyat Saaf honi chahiye. Mm. Right? And the other person who said that to me is Diljit. Mm. He's always said ki Niyat Saaf ho, to acha hi hota hai. Mm. Right? But then there's Irfan, the great Irfan, mm. who said that lots of people will tell you that you have to be a good person to be a good actor, but that's not true. Hmm. It's not true at so all. In not true at all. Vicky, what is the correlation? There's a bunch of terrible people that are being a great good actors human being and being a good actor. Correct. 
Uh, Kevin Spacey. I don't think I want to correlate the two. For me, it's not a requirement. It's not. No, it, the thing is, for me, I am uh, because I'm not a. I'm not. I don't try to be a good person to be a good actor. Hmm. I try to be a good person because that's my priority. Uh, I could fail as an actor, but I don't want to fail there. So, uh, so for me, मुझे for me the the real meaning of success is कि रात को when I go to bed is my conscience clear and मुझे नींद अच्छी आ रही है कि नहीं. But you ask yourself that every day? No, not ask me because मेरी नींद बहुत अच्छी आ रही है. तो मुझे पता है कि मेरी you know, सब ठीक ही है. हाँ, सब ठीक ही है. So, uh, so I think I think मुझे uh, मुझे personally ऐसा लगता भी है that uh, to be a good actor uh, आपको एक अच्छा इंसान होना बहुत जरूरी है. Uh, but that could not be a general truth i don't know but it's my truth mujhe aisa lagta hai it helps me uh when uh, i feel like you know i'm uh, i don't know just like <coughs> if i feel like in my conscience i was good to people and everything in terms of as a human being i was okay <coughs> then baaki to kaam upar niche chalta rahega and yeah. you know one star five star chalte rahenge <laughs> <laughs> but you feel the ki 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 if that conscience wasn't clear and mm. if you think it would impact on the acting i guess so i don't know i guess so but it's not see the thing is that's always always been my precursor even when i was student even when i was not in the industry or whatever it's just been ki yaar higher wo ek rakhna hai um baki to dekhte hain kya hota hai life mein everything else is ki aap jitni mehnat karte ho jitna apne talent pe kaam karte ho skill pe kaam karte ho everything else is also correlated to that as well not just this but this for me is a way of life yeah. you know to just be happy with myself to just be uh, okay with myself that's a basic requirement yeah yeah okay let's move on <coughs> to uh, sexier things like talk <laughs> <laughs> अच्छाई की बहुत बात है लिसन यू आर अमेजिंग ओके इट लुक्स लाइक यू ग्लाइडिंग ऑन वाटर इन दैट सॉन्ग हाउ डिड दिस इमेंस लाइक डांसिंग टैलेंट सडनली कम आउट बहुत सालों से अंदर बैठा हुआ था एंड आई एम जस्ट ग्लैड कि मुझे अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली वो मतलब पता था कि नहीं 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 पता नहीं था कि ऐसा हो जाएगा मुझसे पर ये पता था कि करने की कोशिश करनी है मुझे Uh, like like you if you last like anurag sir or whoever knows me from like gangster was for days and they've seen me as an ad they know ki mere andar kitna dance karne ki you know wo khujli thi so uh, so they were very happy finally finally yeah. they, they were messaging ki yaar finally okay but i'm very glad that this team came together amrit the producer karan they uh, karan johar they kind of decided to make the song and uh, karan ajla then He's so good. Both of you, of course, Tripti is stunning. Yeah. But you have such great chemistry with him. Yeah, I love him. He's like he's like my brother, and uh, and I love his music. Yeah. And I was very very glad that you know uh, he had this song for us, and we collaborated on this. And then, of course, credit to uh, Bosco as well, who choreographed the song. Uh, Santa, who shot it. In fact, I also want to say Manini, who's done the production design, because I feel like the sets look amazing in the song. They sure so did. Shout out to everybody yeah. coming together and uh, just. I'm glad. I'm glad that people have responded. But but tell to me, how, what does it take? Because I saw the making of, which yeah. obviously does not yeah. reveal like how much work it took to yeah. get those legs to move like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I can I reveal something? It's actually not a tough step. Really? Yeah. When I saw it for the first time, I was like, "It won't happen to me." Huh? Then. But then I said, "This one, two, three." I said, "I said, it's done." Huh? So it was. It's just like that's how this boss co taught me. कि ये ऐसे हो जाएगा इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट स्टेप बट बट या आई थिंक आई आई लव इट्स द फर्स्ट टाइम आई गॉट टू डू दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टाइल ऑफ डांस व्हिच वाज लिटिल बिट मोर लाइक स्वैगी एंड काइंड ऑफ लाइक क्लासी सो सो इट वाज गुड फन एंड देन ऋतिक इज सेइंग मतलब दैट मस्ट बी लाइक द मिशन स्टार इन इक्विवेलेंट नो यू नो यू नो नहीं नहीं वो उससे भी ऊपर ऑस्कर है मेरे लिए यू नो मेरे लिए यू नो व्हाट आई डिड आई वाज इन द कार एंड सपोज दिस इज माय फोन and uh, i was out from an event and i just read that message and i saw that comment and i just i did this <laughs> i just threw my phone on the seat next to me i was like bas what more could you want ab ab mera ho gaya like ab i was just i was just like talk to me nicely ritik is ritik sir has commented on yeah <laughs> the only other one I, who I really is, is he got it from prabhu yeah, yeah like, exactly i've been one of those kids who when kahuna parrot come and 
ever since then. I've yeah. just admired him too much. Not just for not just for his dancing, not just for anything, just for for the sheer hard work that he gives into his art mm -hmm. and uh, the hunger that he is he has for for his work is just I really feel very inspired by. Yeah. But you had also told me, speaking about hard work and hunger, that Katrina is the other one who works like a beast on dance and action. You had told me that she's like the diet changes several months before the yeah. sequence has to be shot. Every move is perfected. So did you, what conversations did the two of you have about Toba? I The biggest relief was when she approved of that song. She like, that's good. I was like, shukar hai, shukar hai. But uh, what she keeps telling me is, you know, ki jab tu dance karta, she loves to see me dancing when I'm like, I'm a Bharati dancer. I'm a trained dancer. Nahi. Haan. You know, I'm a Bharati dancer. So I love to see you getting carried away in a song, you know, but that's in real life when the cameras are not rolling. But when the cameras are rolling, you need to know when to preserve that energy, when to give away, how much expression to give away. I get carried away because I start enjoying too much. So this time she was very happy because I held it back in terms of expression and in terms of the attitude. And so she was talking on those lines rather than just dancing and all. She's like, yeah, the dancing is great and all, but um, I'm happier on that front. Like it's strategic dancing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you've, you've kept it cool. Mm. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> How many days of rehearsal? Four. Wow. Yeah, four. I wanted more, but... Yeah. Uh, Name but you got it in four days? Four days somehow, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Days, yeah. Okay, and tell me about the art of creating comedy, right? Mm. Uh, you sort of nailed tragedy with the first film, with Ye Dukh Kai Khatam right? You nailed action with Uri and How's the Josh. I think the climax of Sardar Udham is just the most gut-wrenching 40 minutes or so yeah. of cinema that I've seen in years, mm. right? But what is the art of making a joke land? Everyone deserves God fast, damn it! Fast, reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. Fuck Which you, fact? white lady. To be honest, I'm still figuring it out. And I don't think it's I It's very can... complicated, no? It's very tricky. It's it's a little like, you know, because as actors, we always have this hunger, ki aur kya kar do? And that sometimes I feel comes in the way of comedy. I wish I knew what because he said. That overthinking, na, the overthinking. over analysis of ki, this, is the, mm -hmm. this is the moment, this is the script and this is... So, like, that's why I feel like actors like Diljeet, Akshay sir, I don't think they think. They just, they just flow with comedy and that's why they're so good with uh, comedy. I don't think, like, I'm, I'm cultivating that ease uh, with each film that I attempt in the comedy genre. Um... In this film, in Bad News, I was very happy to have Anand Tiwari with me because I think uh, he's he's an actor and a director uh, who has a strong grip on comedy God, he has himself a in real life and also in performance or script writing or whatever. So I was totally surrendering myself to him. I literally sometimes would say, "Ki Anand, tu kaise bolega? You know, just tell me so how what the beat you? would be. So not in terms of how to do it, hmm. but just the beat of it. Just the rhythm of it. Sometimes the, the 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 comic thing in the line is that rhythm in with which you drop it. Where you deliver so, yeah, the punchline. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So sometimes I would really fall back on his judgment. Ki, yaar, you tell me that. This is what is coming naturally to me, but maybe that's not the right thing. So, uh, so for me, in this film, it was just Anand and just following. But I think uh, with comedy, it will take me a few films to kind of actually be confident of it. I'm trying to figure it out. And that's what my hunger in doing comedy films is. To kind of get that hang of... Uh, so in a sense, are you more comfortable with more intensity yeah. and drama? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am, I am. And it's amazing that... Comedy, I have a pressure. Comedy has always been harder. Jokes, you know. Jokes are always finished. You know, make me laugh. And you're just like... So that's what happens with me. Naturally. Yeah. Uh, I try to not take it on set because on set, like, I try to not think about all these things. But that's my truth. Like, inner truth is what I'm sharing. Yeah, yeah. But the, listen, the good thing is that the trailer is is very funny. That's awesome. Right? Uh, uh, I love the fourth wall breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love mm. that he introduces himself as at the rate Akhil Chadda. Yeah. <laughs> which is very cute. And, and of course, the line about Man Marzia, which is a film I loved. Yeah. Uh, tell me, in the spectrum of Punjabi men in Hindi cinema. If mm. Vicky from Manmarzia, who does Fyar, is at one end, where is Akhil Chadda? Akhil Chadda is... Uh, 
somewhere in the middle of Robbie and Vicky Sandhu from Man Marziya. So Akhil Chadda is somewhere in the middle, who is sensitive to, uh, who's see the thing is, uh, uh, Vicky Sandhu was just oblivious. Yeah. He just didn't know anything deeper than a few layers. This guy, if you make him aware of those that depth, he will reach there. He gets it. He gets it. He gets it from the word go. But he's not there. He's a touch and go. But once he's once he comes to know, then he will be like, okay, yeah, now I get it. So he's open to all of that. He's not. And um, Vicky Sandhu was uh, very commitment phobic. This guy is just like he wants to make a commitment, like overcommit to things. Right. Like he is like, वो प्यार करता और सीधे मंडप पे बैठ जाता है वो. You know, he's that kind of a guy. Yeah. <laughs> and and hopefully when he gets more evolved, he gets to Robbie level. Yeah, I guess it'll take a few years for Akhil Chadda to get to Robbie level. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, about this comfort that you have with Anand, right? You mm-hmm. also, he directed you in Love for Square yes. Foot. You've talked about how he is like family, yeah. uh, as is the producer, Amrit. Yeah. Uh, what does that comfort do for an actor and a director? Because I, I, Ranbir has also talked about how you have to basically be in love with each other. Yeah. But does that, so does it provide like a safety net or can it ever become too comfortable? No, I think it always helps. There's no. I have never felt that it's gone to an extent where I feel like it's become too comfortable. You don't take it for granted. No, no, no. Uh, I think with Anand, especially the, during Love Pasco effort, uh, I think we formed a bond which was just very special and it was family like. Uh, like we are really super thick as friends and as a as like a group. And uh, I think when we yeah, are on a film set, I don't know, there's this ease, there's this That's trust. Or anybody on the creative instinct. team. The more you can trust, yeah. like we know the better. Sometimes, like, you know, that thing where, like, he says, cut and I know what he's want. And I know he's going to ask for one more and what it's going to be for. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not being able to crack something or something is not working or pursuing, he won't, like, I won't even have to say and he'll know that, yeah, so there's this, I don't know, there's this comfort which really helps uh, in in that collaborative experience. And can you experiment more as an actor? Because yeah, you know, so. he I gives you that. Feel free. That happens in any Absolutely. case, I feel. Yeah. But over, over here, yes, you're like, <clears throat> you don't even have a single thought before wanting to experiment a little more. Somewhere else, you might end up experiment, experimenting, but there'll be a thought, what do I do? Okay, I'll talk about this later. यहाँ पे वो फॉर्मेलिटी नहीं है यू नो कि यार हाँ लेट्स यार मुझे थोड़ा टाइम दे दे यार ये इसको थोड़ा और करते हैं लाइक यू नो लेट्स जस्ट डू इट फॉर फाइव सिक्स टेक्स आई नो आई वॉर्म अप टू दैट आई नीड आई नीड अ वार्मिंग अप और वट एवर इट इज दस दस नो लाइक दस नथिंग दैट आई नीड टू प्रूव और लाइक ही नोज माई ट्रूथ सो एंड दैट इज अ बिग प्लस फॉर मी एंड ही वुड ऑलवेज बी एबल टू बी ऑब्जेक्टिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर परफॉर्मेंस ही बी एबल टू टेल यू लाइक नो दिस और सी दैट दिस इज नॉट गुड हंड्रेड 100%. And be brutally so the honest with you. Friendship doesn't come in the way of sort of not that objective. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Oh, if if I may say it, only enhances it. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because there's, there's literally no formality or that thing, or actor, director, whatever. It's just like it literally feels like we've come, and we're gonna like you know the next twelve hours we're just working together, and we need to get something good out of it. Yeah. You know, and people always talk about like. Shah Rukh says that that you know I I want to work with people I like because I don't want to spend wow. a few years Name of my life drop. with <laughs> people who are not you know not of the same yeah. wavelength or yeah, whatever. Yeah, spend a lot of time so, together. Is that something that matters to you, Vicky? Yeah. 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 So you would if there was a great role, but a director like you weren't hundred percent like no, in love with. No, I still give my hundred percent. But the thing is, how much uh, percentage love? It would have to be you? somebody you dislike. Love ka kya steer you away. लव जितना हो जाए वो कम ही है उसमें आप क्या ये कर लोगे यू नो दर इज नो दिस थिंग वे यू कैन स्टॉप इट कि यार इतना ठीक है नहीं बट व्हाट इज द मिनिमम यू नीड टू बी एबल टू वर्क विद समवन 100 कोई इरिटेटिंग बंदे के साथ हो ही नहीं सकता नहीं हो जाएगा पर फिर वो होगा कि चलो ठीक है यार अब तू अपने काम पे ध्यान दे एंड जस्ट लाइक यार अब करते जाओ यू फोकस ऑन योर वर्क एंड नॉट लेट दैट नॉट अफेक्टेड बट Luckily, that's not happened till now, and I hope it doesn't ever happen, because then it'll be a little bit of a tough task. It uh, is, no. Huh? I mean, you 
वो तो हो ही जाएगा बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट दैट ऑफ द मेकिंग ऑफ अ फिल्म डिमांड्स फ्रॉम यू यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट दोज ट्वेल्व आवर्स इट्स लाइक अ फेज इन लाइफ विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू दैट राइट दैट कैरेक्टर दैट 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 वर्ल्ड बिल्डिंग दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू सो इट्स इट्स दैट कैंड ऑफ अ कमिटमेंट टू दैट टीम ऑल्सो सो सो वो वो प्यार और वो तो होना जरूरी है बिकॉज समटाइम्स दैट्स वाई फॉर मी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट वेन एवर आई स्टार्ट अड यू फिल्म बिफोर गोइंग ऑन फ्लोर एटलीस्ट a month every day i'm meeting that director and i'm just spending time just spending time it's not like workshop or like we'll read lines nothing i just want to you're just hanging from anywhere between half an hour to 2 hours to any time like every day i want to spend time with you to just chat to just know you see to just you see your vision what exactly are you thinking what doesn't work for you what works for you and for that one month we'll just discuss what we are trying to create So when you go on floors, there's a lot of kind of already that Before, chemistry, yeah. that kind of you know we know about each other in that sense. But has it ever happened that in that one month you love a little less? No, no, it's been growing. It's always gone up only. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> What do you do on the night before a big scene? Let's say you have like a big you know sequence yeah. the next day. What yeah. What are you doing the night before? Just do my lines. But Katrina says you have the biggest ease with lines. You're done in like four minutes. Ha, I mean, but you know that story is, she told me. No, I'm able to. Lo- yeah, so I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> but I I can learn lines quickly. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. But then what I'll do is I'll I'll just get keep saying skin. the lines while doing different things. Yeah. So yes. It's like an exercise. Yes. Like I'll just do. Uh, so one thing I do with a very dramatic emotional scene, for instance, you don't want to have to think about the lines. Is that take the pressure off that? Oh, yes. Oh, what a scene. Hai. and sometimes i ask the director to not have that vibe on set that ki sometimes people go like hey come on it's an important scene it's like no every scene is important right. just because i'm crying let's not make it a big exactly this thing that ki oh it's a important scene because it's five pages of dialogues it's i have to cry or you know so let's not it's just another scene yeah. uh, it's just how am i now ha how am i now because wo hawa will come in the way of the work will mm-hmm. won't let me flow as an actor so if it's if we if that eases on set then it helps me and dusra just being very very familiar with the lines like the those lines just have yes. to be like so literally when i'm doing that scene it has to just be like emotions i want to be with the emotion so the lines are just flowing so that's the only so the night before you're saying about your the lines, lines while ever. doing other things Absolutely. Like showering. Showering, doing dishes. Eating. Yep. Walking around. Walking around the street, driving in your car. Doing anything. If I'm in the gym sometimes just on yep. the treadmill or I'll just do do the lines. And are you speaking it loudly? A little bit like murmuring but not like So you look like you're talking to yourself. The person going like what's wrong with them? <laughs> but but yeah, a little bit grocery patient. shopping. Sometimes what happens is the uh, woh rhythm toota hai and some you get like new kind of pauses in the in the text and because what happens if you read it in your mind is you form a template like you fix it yes so i just try to break it till i reach on set so i have not fixed anything in my head and then what comes out comes out comes out then i'm reacting to my co-actors then i'm reacting to my set everything the mahal on set chef that world that we are in. then i'm this is an acting right. class chef kiss vicky just saying yeah fun fun yeah. yeah i really like it then it's like it's it's homework yeah yeah i right? i get very charged i feel like Okay, this this will be fun. Like, let's let's see where it goes. Yeah. Because I also don't know. I might I might just screw it all, or uh, it might just come out well. So you don't know. So are you one of those actors who can do this take in the same way twice, or is every I take no, different? No, 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 no. Sometimes it's different, but I can manage to do. So you can nail thing. your beats and say, okay, yeah. I can. Like, if he says there was a take issue and do it again, yeah. you can do exactly, exactly the same. Sometimes they want it exactly the same. Yeah. The Sometimes they want it a very yeah. specific Pretty way. Much. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You can't change Live. how you're doing stuff. So it's not a technique, is it? Won't because like match. Yeah. Rishi sir huh. always used to say that, like, I can't. I'm yeah. not that actor. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. I, it all comes out in the first two takes, and yeah. then. I think it depends on the scene as well, but more often than this thing, like I can, I can. It's never come in the way that अच्छा नहीं हो पाएगा वो पापस रिपीट हो जाता हो जाता yeah so Vicky I was watching I was doing research for this and I was watching interviews of yours and you said in one that that your biggest fear right now is that you'll start to take things for granted yeah and you said that it's it's scary because that's very slippery slope it doesn't yeah. it's not an immediate thing yeah you know धीरे 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 you realize it much later हाँ हो गया कि कि हो गया and yeah. somewhere you slipped yeah. and you didn't even know yeah. but what do you, how do you not take things for granted when you become as successful as you have i think it starts with being aware of it ki aisa ho sakta hai 
that also helps and uh, secondly i think uh, just be for me it's important to be scared when i'm getting into a project that will i be able to do it or not i i need to have that feeling uh in in any film i do uh, if that character or the book such in, a common answer in that like phase where i'm getting into that film doesn't scare me i get that's that's a big reminder of that thought ki yaar easy lag raha hai kya you know so that's keep so wo ek na awareness is what helps me yeah ki and and that's what i try to uh, sometimes it's a genre like bad news mein that fear factor for me was comedy right okay you know yeah. just be chawa mein it was the responsibility action the like you know the other things involved which i can talk at length later but usme ek alag tarike ka fear tha sam was to portray sam manik show you know that big responsibility and all of that so i just need some fear factor when i get into a film to make me make sure that i'm i am not getting complacent i'm not getting like easy chill about it yeah because something like bad news right on the face of it it would feel like okay this is easy breezy Chill, yeah. right because it's an easy breezy film mm. it's attempting very clearly to entertain yeah, yeah. us yeah, it's yeah, not it trying is. to do it's it just is. giving you a good time yeah. right and also on set we had a great time yeah it's not like there was tense or anything we were laughing and amy is very funny and anand is very funny so we would just keep laughing and enjoying it mm. but just it's a very like a personal thing as an actor to to deliver your work well is like ki yaar ha just remember that इतना लाइटली मत ले लेना कि अपने हाँ कि आप आप अपना काम अच्छे से कर पाओ लाइक यू नो इन दैट कॉमेडी जोन या या सो फॉर यू द फेयर वाज कैन आई लैंड अ जोक या अगेन कैन यू मेक पीपल लाफ या या बिकॉज़ द द द फ्लिप साइड इज़ दैट दैट इज़ द थॉट व्हिच यू हैव टू टेक आउट व्हेन यू आर क्रैक I don't know. It's it's if with that thought you can never crack a joke. Right. It, it won't land because you're already thinking about yeah. to make a laugh. Yeah. You know, and you it's can. a situational comedy, so that also helped me a little bit because what's happening to the characters is not funny for them. Yeah. Right. I was going to ask you yeah. that. They, they are playing it straight. Exactly. That's yeah. the key. It's, it's for them. It's like they don't even know exactly. how to react to the situation and what to do in this situation. Which is what you makes know? it so funny. That yep. also helped me a little bit because I didn't have to be funny in my life as a kilchanda. Right. because it was a very serious thing happening and i'm i was really confused and i'm really really like all over the place that what do i do <laughs> so so that helped me also like you know a little bit okay you know what's funny um while i was doing this research so obviously you know the youtube algo starts throwing up anything to do with you okay. uh, uh, and one of the youtube shorts had katrina talking about the first karwa chauth uh-huh. okay and it was very fun because she said like you know she had signed up I don't know the moon was supposed to rise at x hour and it didn't rise for like 30 yeah, minutes after yeah, yeah. and she said she was like just hungry as hell but she said that you also fasted I do right yeah. so so which which reminded me of we've been married a very long time but yeah. in our early days vinod thought he was going to make this grand romantic gesture and also fast oh. right because i'm fasting she's married to the director of 12 <laughs> by about noon yes i remember that <laughs> losing his mind can i eat fruit i was like you know what i'm going to lose it and and by the end of the day we may not be together anymore so i suggest, <laughs> I suggest you eat something oh. how did you do <laughs> fuck My gladiator. Metro presents it to wireless customers. <laughs> I've been a loyal, loyal customer since today. Forever. Which That's how the crocodile I felt after he ate I'm the woman. Really? He was gladiator. Yeah. You like I can. You just suck it up, up and you're, you're, yeah. you you stop well. Yeah, because we we've, we've gone through diet restrictions and we That's go through right. all of that drill. So being an sometimes. actor helps. Yeah, yeah, so being an actor helps. But she was So she's a she's like fast. a Google queen na so no, moon kitne baje aayega so ask angry. Google <laughs> Google ne bol diya 8:30 I don't get angry when I fast I get angry if I'm hungry तो तो गूगल को थोड़ा पता बादल कहां पे आने वाले तो फिर वो दैट डिले वाज देयर एंड देन शी लाइक शी इट्स नॉट कम इट्स नॉट कम मैं कह यार मैं थोड़ा ना बुला रहा हूं जब आएगा तो शी वाज शी वाज नॉट शी वाज कंप्लीटली फाइन टिल दैट टाइम टिल दैट टाइम दैट गूगल हैड सेड आफ्टर दैट शी इज लाइक नो दिस इज नॉट राइट अब नहीं होगा अब नहीं हो रहा अब मुझे भूख लग रही है सो यार Well, I'll tell him. Maybe actors are supposed to do this, and and, and you know the OG, of course, was uh, Raj and Simran. Yeah. You know, Raj fasted for Simran in DDNG. Exactly. Yeah, and and so that was the, where it all began, where men. Shahrukh Sir, ne na. Bilkul. 
Tell me what you can about Chava because the, the stuff that's out there is hmm. so fascinating. And once yeah. again, you know, you're playing a real life uh, character. Yeah. The cast, I mean, Akshay Khanna as yeah. Aurangzeb, yeah. like I'm there first day yeah. for show already. It's just so interesting. What can you tell us? No, it's a very, very special film. Very special film. And it's really probably the film that's taken the most out of me. Uh, physically, emotionally, it was that kind of a... I mean, a potent film and it's drama and emotions and everything. It's a life based on uh, Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj, uh, who's son of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. And uh, he's, uh, I don't know what I can say about his life, but as 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 a film, I think uh, I'm extremely excited because it's something that I've never attempted before. It's a period film, uh, but not just that element of it, but just the, but just the Shakespearean, uh, drama drama that I got to do in that uh, was was just something that I, I really enjoyed mm. and I really can't wait the to see myself that how it's come across mm. yeah very exciting do, do we know like when not yet not yet because they're still um, in post production uh, Rahman Saab all is, the shooting is done yeah all the shooting is done uh, Rahman Saab is working on the music and the score of the film and uh, the VF, there's a lot of VFX involved uh, so all of that is happening but yeah. once they get a grip of kind of okay how much time they're going to take I think they will be able to kind of lock a day yeah okay um, next year is 10 years wow oh yeah oh <laughs> Masan was what 2015 yeah 10 years 10 years <laughs> How amazing. Time flies, yeah. Yeah. And what an amazing journey you've had, Vicky. Uh, what have you learned in these years that you think will equip you better for the next? You know, I used to uh, hear people say this in interviews. and But I've now started to understand that this, that you're as good as your last Friday. Mm. You know, in terms of just... Ki haan, thik hai, how good you're doing, not not how good you are as an actor or that. That's a very personal process that you'll be on and it's a very personal journey. But yaha pe things change every Friday, mm. you know. So one Friday will make you reach there, one Friday you're there. Uh, and so not to take anything personally in this, in this profession. Uh, the curiosity for you, and I'm talking about just the people in the industry. Yeah. Uh, your demand your uh, people being curious about you, excited about you, just changes every Friday. Um, yep. There could be a phase where nobody's excited about you and just one Friday will change that. Or there's a phase that everybody's excited about you and one Friday will change that. Yep. So, so just concentrate on your process, keep doing your work and trying to grow in that zone without taking these things personally because it's all part and parcel. But was this a hard lesson? Because it's a tough lesson. No, it was a lesson. It is a lesson. It's not a hard lesson, I'll say, because I feel, to be very honest, I've been very fortunate in this journey so far. I've met some incredible people, got to work with a, some incredible talent as co-actors, as directors, as producers, and everybody has been very, very supportive and uh, and really, really encouraging. Yeah. So I've been very blessed in that that way. So it's it's not that the the ones that didn't work have really brought you down. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Today, who has only given us safety? No, no, no. 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 Achha? Yeah, it's just, it's just ki, chal, thik hai. Ye wala nahi hua. And there's always a reason for it. You look back into the film and you're like, yeah, 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 loopholes the us film. Koi baat nahi. We try to do our best, but maybe utna hum nahi kar So you do a kind of, a, are you able to do a very clinical look at it? No, but also, it's, there's never been a Friday where I've been surprised. In a negative way. I've been very surprised in a positive way. Like, for instance, Uri happened and I was very surprised with what happened with the film after that. <coughs> but negatively, you're always a little aware in, deep in your heart that it's not a perfect film. This is what can happen to land and give somebody a high of a great film or whatever. Yeah. So, that's what happens. You just, you just uh, 
फेस द ट्रूथ कि अच्छा यार किस लेवल तक ये अप्रूव हुआ है या डिसअप्रूव हुआ है दैट्स इट सो इट इट्स इट्स बिजनेस एज यूजुअल काइंड ऑफ काइंड ऑफ आई मीन यू गेट इन टच ऑफ ऑफ कोर्स लाइक आई चैट अ लॉट विद माय डायरेक्टर्स विद माय टीम एंड एवरीथिंग कि यार क्या हो रहा है चलो कोई नहीं चलो नेक्स्ट टाइम करते हैं व्हाट यू राइटिंग नेक्स्ट एंड यू नो क्या हो रहा है बट बट गो या pick ourselves up and then yeah. move forward the quicker you move the better it is yeah because see, we are all in for the for the long run na yeah. it's a mar- i'm in for a marathon i'm not in for a short race yeah. so so uh, for me it's about i'll keep falling getting up there'll be incline decline whatever but that's all part of the whole marathon long yeah. marathon yeah. yeah yeah well cannot wait to see you on this marathon but before we let you go You've been talking to us for nine years, Vicky, and we wanted to show you okay. a few of your past interviews. Really? <laughs> yes. So we put together something. You don't know me, I'm not Rudu. Please don't scroll. Listen to me. My name is Hiba from Brazil. Smoke if you want. I don't care. Just die. Sorry. I mean, no. What was required on the set was just to be completely naked as an actor and just completely surrender when you're there. If I don't do good at my job, no matter how many hashtags I use, no matter how many filters I use, nothing's gonna happen. I got this advice from my dad when I was just starting off: Don't sit at home, don't read books on acting, and don't watch movies and think that it was a productive day as an actor. My mom only sometimes she's like sometimes she's just reading her newspaper and she just watches me going from this room to that room and she like star ban gaya tu <laughs> and then I'm like nahi nahi my mom can't feel this my mom can't feel this <laughs> stardom would merely a just star the ki yaar I want to watch that film forget the film even if I don't see for the trailer person. for that person yeah. I'm watching yeah. that film see mujhe firstly aisa lagta hai ki middle class values na wo ja nahi sakte trolling ghar pe hoti hai na to aap grounded rehte ho मुझे इंटरनेट कांट शेक मी सो बेसिकली वन कुड से दैन इन अ स्मॉल वे आई हैव हैड अ फेरी लार्ज हैंड इन इन हेल्पिंग यू क्राफ्ट योर योर स्किल आई एम सो थ्रिल टू बी सिटिंग विद माय गुरु ओवर हियर टुडे या इट इज सो लाइक मेरा सितारे संग बात लाऊं आई यू सो लवली ओह स्वीट आई जस्ट I just realized <coughs> the first time I ever gave an interview in my life was you. Yeah. The first time I ever have had a conversation with my wife was because of you. Ha. Uh, It's just the matchmaker. Too monumental man. <laughs> It's just So can I say I've had a great part in your journey? I've had <laughs> I'm just I'm just realized that professionally personally how uh, impactful you've been in my life like how <laughs> so sweet what your contribution has been thank you so much oh, thank please. you please <laughs> not at all thank really, you my god this was so sweet thank you can i have you, this Vicky. video later <laughs> this is so of course sweet. you can and uh, ma'am thank you for everything that you've given to all of us through film companion oh, thank and, you and uh, really i think there's so many of i'll count <clears throat> myself as one of them as those cinephiles who have uh, experienced uh, cinema through film companion and through you so thank you for everything everything that you've done through film companion thank you and there will be much more to many miles to go 100% a marathon for you and me together <laughs> thank you well wow. yeah, i think she's working for like hollywood reporter india now or something like that. I don't know. You guys have to let me know. But so yeah. she's still interviewing. It's just yeah. not into film companion. Yeah, I think she either entity. sold it or something. Okay. I don't know. I don't I don't know. You guys have to let me know. He's an actor, man. I mean, we've known yeah. that. Another great interview. That, that's that's evident when you just listen and watch the man. Obviously, yeah. it's it's easy. And from everything we've ever seen of Vicky, he is one of the most consistently great actors of his generation. Yeah. Um and then you could tell cuz he he takes himself his work seriously mm-hmm. um but obviously not too seriously but he you know the the way he talks about acting it's it's a very actor's approach mm-hmm. to it of from obviously getting your lines under you yeah which i i i'd be shocked if i ever talked to an actor and they're like yeah i don't like to do that cuz i'd be like well, how do you 
how do you how do you do it then? It's <laughs> such an integral part of. Obviously, there's times where you get a line, you know, five minutes before you have to go on. That's sure. That's different. That's different. But I'm talking about the, the normal time where you have at least a day to get tomorrow's scene under your belt. Because obviously, that's how it is a lot of the times. People don't memorize the entire like leads. Don't memorize the entire script because it has too many words. They know their shooting schedule, and so they they learn. They learn for the shooting schedule. For the shooting schedule. Yeah. Um. It's 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 different, but I, yeah. Unless you're on for theater, yes, you theater, have to be yeah, off yeah. book for the entire show as fast as possible. Which is why a lot um, of actors like that a lot. Yeah. It's because it build you could build on yourself. But the 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 process that he was describing, um, in doing a lot of different things. Yeah. If if you're an actor and you haven't done that for yourself, do it. You've probably noticed that if you're in a particular room and you memorize your lines there and then you go do the self tape in another room, you go up on your lines yep. because part of the memorization process was happening in what you were doing. And I've likened it to, I explained this to Indrani with the line memorization process and why I do multiple things and just get it under my skin. It's like a kitchen. So if you, if you move into a new house and you're in a brand new kitchen, you aren't acclimated to the place yet. You, it takes you a while to get used to where everything is. Then, once you are, your kitchen, you no longer think. Yeah. You can just talk and do whatever. You're on the phone and you're going over here. And I know if I'm standing in my kitchen, I know if I'm imagining it right now. Yeah. Stove here, sink here, dry dishes there. That's where that is. If I open up that drawer, that's where the utensils are. The drawer right next to it, that's where some of the seasonings are under there. And you can, that's what line memorization is and doing it in different places because the more different places you're doing it the it's just the way your brain works and it also helps if like obviously you have all of it under your skin and something happens like right either they improv you something can just go with it or they forget something or something random happens uh or somebody forgets or like gives you a yeah. wrong line yeah you know where you are because yeah. it's so already ingrained in you yeah that's one of the reasons. and when you can i mean when i i do this in my memorization process ideally i also know everybody else's lines because if someone goes up on a line we can keep going and that's particular also for stage people because you don't have the luxury yeah. of cut yeah um i don't I, I you know might be different for stage i don't do that not a lot of actors a do lot because um like i'll know what my intro line is for well if they've person. got a monologue i don't know their monologue yeah I, but that actually helps me listen to them yeah that's why i i, I don't do it because i like to hear what they're saying i'll know what my cue your line cue, is of course especially uh, if they have and, several lines and you can tell obviously with your lines what the cue line is because it makes sense um but <sighs> it I, when we were talking to parvathy if you could hear it hopefully she also has ADD, and so the memorizing lines has actually, funny enough, been very easy for me my whole life. Yeah. I can memorize pages real, real, real quick. Fast. Yeah. But I like to make sure it's under my skin first because um, – and when I'm in a scene, well, I, was, I was talking about her, one of the superpowers ADHD people have is hyper-focus. Mm. Uh, so when I'm in a scene, I don't – I can easily put myself – wherever that scene is if it's like uh, and block everything yeah else, right. so like let's say i'm a in in a jail or something like i can easily it's not difficult for me to put myself exactly in that situation and then pop out of it real, real right quick right um that's one of the superpowers of add adhd yeah um parvathy apparently also has that now i'd uh, be interested yeah. I mean, that needs to be one of my questions for for other actors that we talk to if they have add adhd because i bet a lot do yeah and Sometimes you do need to, it depends on the scene. When you're watching the new season of The Bear. Yeah. I'm going to watch it soon. I believe it's episode three. Okay. There is a conversation with multiple people happening in the kitchen. And I'm watching this scene and I had to pause it. And I turned to Indrani. I said, you only get this scene if every actor knows everyone's lines. Because everyone's talking on top of each other so much for so long. There's no way you 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 can't just be listening for the cues. You yeah. you've got to know everyone else's lines, and it was it had to have been rehearsed. Incredible, so yeah, f really fun listening to him because like part of that big part of that was like an acting class. 
<coughs> Excuse so me. So the film he was talking about, Chava, Vicky, Rashmika, Akshay Khanna, he said in there. Yep. And it's Lakshmi. Udagar, yeah. There's Zandagi. Zandagi Hindi Mimi. Mimi. Nope, not the director of it. Might be a writer of it. Mimi. Writer. A director directed by Lakshmi. Yeah. Co-directed. Well, that's great because... Well, wow, Mimi was great. But also that feels like a very different film. A historical drama based off the life of that person, son of that person. A.R. Rahman. He's doing the music. Uh, maybe that's why he has such an epic beard, but he has a Sanjay Lube and Sali film coming up. I bet it's for that because he already wrapped filming on the other one. Kira Advani. He also may just keep a beard when he's not so with Lady, Nayantara. Lady Superstar and yep. Kira Advani <laughs> is in the uh, Sanjay. That's going to be epic. Awesome. Mr. Leely. Comedy. Another comedy. No, I don't think so. Karan Johar's... A Marathi? Hold up. Logline. Doing another... Oh, Boomy? Boomy. Ah, Little B. That's a heck of a cast. What is it? No, that's not Little B. That's our Abhishek. Banerjee. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, look yeah. at the logline. A Marathi NRI takes ecstasy at a nightclub and in 48 hours ends up in jail. <laughs> Love it. I'm in. This is like a maybe like a like a hangover style, right? Exactly, yeah. very much in the style of the hangover. Love and war, isn't that also Sanjay? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's with Renvir, right? Oh, Renbeer, Alia, Renbeer. Alia, Renbeer, and oh, Vicky. Look at that oh, cast, drooling. Um, Christmas of twenty twenty five, uh, drooling. Vicky in a Sanjay film is going to be great. He fits that drooling so well. Yeah, I oh, man, I'm excited about bad news. Um, what films of uh, his that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Should we see? Man, he has a, a good cast. Lori was our first uh, Vicky film, wasn't it? He has this film that I know a lot of, I didn't hear amazing things about, but I'm, maybe we'll watch this um, Halloween just because uh, it's a spooky film. Mm. It's Boot. Boot. Uh, but it's a haunted ship. Okay. Um, Any good? That well, I, I've heard mixed stuff. Okay. But um, people like, uh, uh, from what I heard, a lot of people just didn't see it. Mm. Um, All right. So well, what do you think? Stupid it's movies? one that's been on the list for for our spooky month. Yeah. And since there's not a lot, I'd be happy to see a spooky, uh, absolutely Vic, Vicky film. Any opportunity for it? Um, Love per square foot. They said in here. We've uh, seen quite a bit of his film, his stuff. Yeah. There's still some Bombay Velvet. Right. Is something that we will watch. Yeah. I'm just. We saw Masan. Obviously, he was a AD on Gangs of Wasper. He was a production assistant on a Shuka. A Shuka, really. Yeah, I would love to talk to him. One, oh stars, yeah. he's one of the people that, one, he's a great actor. So I love seeing people that are so, so talented actually have success. But he came up by himself. He came up because of his talent. Yeah. And, I mean, it's wonderful that uh, our doorstep uh, is basically the one that found him. Uh-huh. In. Yeah. And that's no shock. I know a lot of people like to give Anurag a lot of flack, but the amount of great actors that are in the industry now because Anurag is like, you have a lot of talent. Great I mean, creatives, not just um, the actors. Yeah. Creatives of all disciplines. Uh, also including that um, producer of uh, Kill. Right. I was just thinking yeah. Kill. Yeah. Um, uh, she produced Gangs and, yep. and, and many other yep. things. Um, yeah. So let us know. It was, it was a good interview. Very good interview. I love seeing Vicky uh, have success. Another good interview by a film companion uh, lady. Let us know what should be our next Vicky film. If you're excited for this film, I am. Uh, anything else we need to know down below? Josh!